tricky mm -hmm. handicapping spot in the WNBA Monday night. It's game two of a two-game series. We started to see these in the NBA. We also see them in the W. There's no cardinal rule in terms of what to do in the game two of these two-game sets. There's the home and home, but these are both in the same location. So Seattle hosting Dallas. I was on the storm for anyone who followed this uh, program the other day. Friday night, they were laying nine and a half. One going away, big second half push, but this this rematch is 11 and a half, feels like too many points, specifically because the first game was a giant flat spot for Dallas. Remember, they had just won as a double digit underdog against the Lynx on Thursday, beating the team that just won the Commissioner's Cup, snapping their 11 game losing streak. So, huge win for Dallas. Now they go on the road and, you know, too much talent for the Storm. So, there's an adjustment in the market, nine and a half to 11 and a half. I don't know. I feel like it's a sleepy week in Seattle. I know there's a, you know, movie with those similar line, but after this, you get the sky back to back at home. It's a holiday week. I think 11 and a half is too many points, but do I love it? No, I think they're going to lose by like eight, maybe 10. So I like the 11 and a half, not a big play, but just the situation was so good on Friday. I think the market has adjusted too much for game two here on Monday. Another tough handicapping spot, this one in Phoenix after playing Caitlin Clark and the Fever. Back-to-back -back games, the Mercury host, the Connecticut Sun, who are coming in ready to win. They've lost three of four after starting the season 13-1. and one. This line opened one, now up to two and a half. Connecticut, the road favorite here. You're over under 159 and a half. I actually leaned the home dog here. I know the Sun are focused and trying to get back on track and have the right leadership with Alyssa Thomas and Dewana Bonner, but I think the Mercury are pretty good. Obviously, Griner in the middle, all the shooters. I think I think Kalea Copper is going to play much better than she did on Sunday against the Fever. So it's really just a lean for me with Phoenix, but yeah, that's where I'm. Uh, I'll take the home dog plus the two and a half, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Sun come ready to play and take it to the Mercury, but. I, I do think the Mercury on paper should be, uh, you know, should be the right side here. So I have to lean to the Mercury plus two and a half. 